Well, hmm. I'm an old man. That's true. I'm fat to a point. I guess that too is true. So what's your point? What's that got to do with the fact that you believe in magic? What's that got to do with the fact that you seem to think women belong in a certain place, in a certain way, in a certain thing? Because you believe a superhero told you that. You can call it all all you want, but it's a, it's a magician. <laughs> it's a magic superhero. All you people want superheroes, Christians, Catholics, Jews, Muslim, Islam, doesn't matter. You're all looking for some fucking superhero to be your Lord and Savior. It's not about saving anything. There's nothing wrong with life. There's nothing wrong with humanity. We're human beings. The irony of that statement is that because we are human beings, we have this uh, certain curiosity. We want to know how things work. And uh, most of us are uh, intelligent enough, have enough drive and real curiosity to, to try to work it out, find out how things really work. But you, your acolytes, your, your ilk, I'm talking about all God, all our believers, all believers in deity. Y'all have to, what is it? You know, is it like you're too lazy to look up the science, to do the science, to do the math, the biology? Are you too lazy for the archaeology, for the anthropology? Are you too lazy to just think? You can let somebody else think for you and then order you around? Is that you you really believe that, that is supposed to be the way human beings are meant to exist? <laughs> well, once again, you won't answer the question, of course. Especially you uh, Muslim. You won't answer the question. You won't think. All you'll do is start spouting about your Quran and and you're Muhammad, and oh golly, is it, should I be censored for saying that word? Half of you name your fucking kids Muhammad. So don't start telling us that we can't say the word Muhammad. That's just ignorant bullshit. Tired of that one. That one is, that's, that's worse than Comedy Central censoring the word shit. And then allowing it a whole show of it. Shit, 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 shit. The whole show. It's just, you know, it's senseless. It makes no sense. Nothing happened to anybody. So did people go out and shit all over or something? No, of course not. But you people, wow. You take it so damn far. What's the big fucking deal? You're Allah, your Muhammad, it's all made up bunk anyway. If you actually, if there's a real philosophy there, you're trying to find yourself. You need all the philosophers in the world to say all the gobbledygook you want, but it still doesn't change the fact that you're delusional. Godheads, deities, spiritual shit, it's all delusion. There is a reality out here. It's called the scientific method. Do you want to know where you came from? Atomically? Subatomically? Molecularly? How? In what way do you want to know? Sexually? Oh, is that a dirty word? You people are freaky about that. That's another thing. You think this Muhammad guy is so special. And yeah, he wants to marry seven and nine and eleven year old girls. Why? What's the 
And you know, you justify it, you protect it, you just like the the poop now with Catholic priests. They've all been molesting children for thousands of years, and now all of a sudden it's the fault of the internet and television <laughs> that priests do this. So you know it. You'll make something up, I'm sure, that it's everybody's fault but yours that you all want to kill everybody. That you want to make comments like you just did on my uh, last video. The one before this and I'm answering you. Yeah. Did you actually read all those comments? All you all did was talk about your peaceful religion and threaten me. <laughs> uh, how your God's going to do this to me and that to me. No, you're loving, peaceful, all is going to kill me in this many ways and make me do this and that. And you just so full of shit. So just, you know, get over yourself. Get over your Muhammad because he's nothing but a human being who wrote a book of poems that you all think are divinely inspired. Good for you. You're just as delusional as the Christians. Wonderful people. What a what a what a what a great group they were, huh? Came right over to your old country and said, "Listen, we love this. We're taking it." Because <laughs> their God said they could. So who's right? Neither one of you. Neither one of you are right. Your Muhammad was a nut. These so-called apostles and prophets from the Bible. They were just seeing. Like Ezekiel. Definitely saw a UFO. Well. <clears throat> are you going to laugh at that or something? That, that I believe and I feel that there's probably life. Besides us. In this whole vast universe that you call so complex and everything. You, and then you, you actually you're gonna think uh, that's only because of your 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 Bible thing and the the whole uh, there's only six thousand years old gig and all that shit you know the creation myth and all that it's magic dude it's not reality so just calm down all of you get a grip and answer the questions put forth do you really believe a man lives in a fish for three days. Do you really believe that a woman's hair is wicked and that if they show their skin, you will be forced to rape them? Do you really believe that a guy gets crucified, dies, comes back to life, tells everybody about how his loving father, who is supposed to be a god, sent him here, to convince you he exists, this loving God, and if you don't, he's going to have you thrown in hell for the rest of your time you're eternally dead or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. I can make up anything, probably. And it would appear in the Bible, I'm sure. <laughs> it's all magic. Yeah, yeah. Just an earthling. <laughs> and this is the earth. <laughs>